Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to September. Welcome to the energy readings for September, okay? August was, um, coincidentally, my 12th house transit, okay? So I was going through a lot of loss. I lost my grandfather, and lost a lot, going through a lot of patterns. I was back home, clearing up a lot of things, you know, and doing a lot of 12th house things, sleeping, <laughs> getting in touch with more in depth with myself. Um, listening more to music, just chilling, relaxing, and just ending things. So August, I did not do monthlies, okay? Um, but we're back for the September monthlies, okay? August also, it was, everything was retrograde. And Mercury retrograde being Helen Mercury ruled really kind of messed your girl up. So we're back now. Mercury's direct. Mars is direct. If you haven't checked those videos out, check those out, okay, to learn about that. Let's just hear about what's going on there, okay? Um... And this week coming up, we got Saturn moving direct. Okay, check out my weekly video on that as well, okay? And I feel like I'm going to do a Saturn video too because it's going to be pretty big, okay? Um, so we're here in September, y'all. And this month is going to be so, so, so pivotal, okay? So, so, so pivotal. Oh, oh you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to have Saturn moving direct. And all of September, that means that's the last personal planet, Okay. The ones that we can see with our naked eye, okay? The ones that influence, the planets that influence our life the most, okay? You got the luminary, which is the moon. You got the girls, our, our main, main, the sun, okay? Mercury, okay? Mars, Venus, and Saturn, okay? And those are the planets that really influence our life um, in, a, in a, just a major, major way, okay? Um, and, you know that we see on a daily basis. And then, you know, the bigger moving planets, slower moving planets, you have Jupiter, you have Neptune, you have Uranus, Pluto. These energies that move move slower, okay? But they don't affect, they're more generational and they're more, you know, dealing with um, not your direct life, okay? And so with Saturn, you know, in August, we had Mercury retrogrades our mind, our communication, okay? How we process things. It's a big aspect of our life offline, okay? For that we can redo and rethink, okay? Um, we have Mars, which is our motivation, our how we exert our energy, how we deal with the desires and passion, okay? Um, courage, all these things, all that was off as well. That's a big thing as well that's off, okay? Saturn, which is really shaping our life and structuring how we're going to move forward and dealing with our karma and how we um, manifest our life in time, okay? And the different bonds and different contracts that we do with spiritually, okay, and with others, okay? That's offline. Okay, and we're trying to redo and restructure, okay? So we can't structure. We can't really think, okay? We're not motivated or having any energy to do anything, okay? And so there's a lot of energies that are offline. So August was kind of a squirt type month, okay? Now we've got Mars and Mercury already moving forward but as we're going, coming into September, okay? And as of September the 5th, we got Saturn back online, okay? The end of the month, we got Pluto coming direct. And then by February and by January, all the planets will be direct, Okay, but September is pivotal because this is the last month where we have everything of the personals moving forward before Venus retrogrades October the 6th. Okay, and that's going to be pivotal because it's going to be in Scorpio where she's in her detriment. Okay, so we're going to feel a deep, deep um, just resurrection of a lot of past energies with Scorpio. Okay, um, you know, the, the past it could be financial partnerships you had, okay, because dealing with other people's money, joint finances. Okay. Um, dealing with past fears and all these things, Jupiter kind of has exposed fears and, and um, you know, darker aspects of life and dealing with, you know, addictions, dealing with um, you know, darker emotions, dealing with doubts and worries, dealing with um, you know, how we see sex and how we see um, the body and, 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 you know, our insecurities with that. All these things, okay? And then Venus is about finances and pleasure and, and, and relationships in general, so that's going to be pulled up. Okay, as she's not in her strongest already, and the retrograde there is going to make that even stronger. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to do video on the I got y'all on the Venus video. Okay, and then she's going to retrograde back into Libra where she's the strongest. Okay, but she's going to have a retrograde, so that's going to be even more. It's going to be just you get the polarity there. Venus is going to be strong when she's in her detriment in a retrograde, and also when she's in her um, in her home in her strongest. Okay, in a retrograde. Okay, and so. We'll see both sides, okay? Um, and so much going to receive. And that's going to be kicking off October 6th all the way through October. And in November 16th, I think, or 15th is when it moves forward, okay? Um, and so that's going to be 
October, November, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's two months of, of one of the personal planets, our heart, okay, being offline, okay? Um, so, you know, showing love, showing affection is going to be harder at that time. Dealing with money is going to be harder at that time. We're going to be really looking at how we, what we value, we're shifting our value, we're shifting how we do and deal with finances, okay? We're not going to maybe not have extreme hella coin during Venus retrograde. The last Venus retrograde in 2017, March of 2017, broke, okay? Um, it was a lot about how I, mine was in my seventh house, so we're really evaluating where I can get my money from, who I partner with, okay? Um, but anyway, so it, it's going to be, you know, and past people can come back, past energies where you put in work and didn't really receive anything, that can come back. So it's not always, you know, where things are drained, but it is what it is. Okay, so September's made, are y'all, okay? Um, and so because of that, I'm doing extended spreads, as you can see, this is the Aries spread, hey, um, for all of the signs. So really stay tuned for um, each sign, okay? Make sure to check out your sun, your moon, your rising. If you have a strong influence, like I have my Mercury is major, okay? My Mercury happens to be in Aquarius, but it's a big part of my chart, so I'm going to look at, if I was not in Aquarius, I'm going to already look at Aquarius, but I would look at my Mercury, okay? Um, if you're, I'm born on Monday, ruled by the moon. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna look at my moon sign, which is Gemini. Okay, um, if you got Saturn retrograde, I would check out the Saturn where you got Saturn Aquarius, wherever your Saturn is. Check that out. Okay, um, really look at your chart and see where you know the biggest got a lot of planets aspecting one planet. Okay, I mean a lot of a lot of energies aspecting one planet. What you got? What you got? Conjunctions. Okay, you know whatever you see the most important in your chart. Okay, what you really feel the most in your life. Um, I would watch that video first. Okay. Um, and so, you know, okay, so let me get really quick into general astrology, and then we're going to move forward into the signs, okay? So, y'all, September the 6th is what I was talking about with Saturn direct on the 5th, okay? But the 6th, September is going, Saturn is going direct, okay? Saturn is dealing with time and karma and, and our, our restriction and limitation. He deals, deals with the bones and the skeletal system, okay? Which keeps us structured, keeps us moving, keeps us able to sustain, okay, because Saturn is about long-term success, long-term stability, okay, um, and so when he goes retrograde, he looks at your life and looks in the back of the past, you know, six months usually, um, but it could be depending on if he was retrograding over a planet for the first time, it could be something karmic, looking back on past lives, you know what I'm saying, but he's looking back, and he's able to see, and he's showing you, oh, look, this is, you gotta, you know, this, this is a crack in the foundation here, this needs to be restructured here, okay, this is a pattern right here that's been sabotaging you the whole time. This isn't something that needs to be rechecked, okay? Oh, you haven't been dealing with this? Okay, I'm going to bring that up real quick so that you can deal with it, okay? Saturn retrograde, okay? And so since April, Saturn has been moving backwards from 9 degrees of Capricorn. Now he's at 2 degrees of Capricorn, where he was January the 10th, okay? Let's go back to January 10th, okay? Because now we've redo, I mean, we've not really redone it yet, but we've looked back and re now we've got a mental restructuring and look back at the limitations we've had on ourselves. We felt more limitation in the area where he's backtracked so that we now have more impetus and more passion to move forward and more wisdom in that, okay? And so now he's going to be moving direct as of the 6th of September at 2 degrees of Capricorn, okay, where he was January 10th. And now it's time to all the time from January 10th to April when he went retrograde, we were pushing forward and moving forward in our life. A lot of things shifted. So many things were newly changed in our life. So much new growth because a lot of plans were moving direct. But it didn't happen in the most efficient way, the most attorney way, the most in the way the best way of our integrity. Okay. We didn't get the best bang for our buck. Saturn is in Capricorn, so he's not playing the games. Okay, check my Saturn and Cap video okay, back in the day. It was December of 2017. I, I made it. And it, he don't play games. He, he's the ruler of Saturn. Like Venus is going to be retrograding in um, Libra, where she rules. Saturn is currently retrograding in Cap, where he rules. Okay, but Saturn is like yeah. hard fists. Okay, so you've, and he really deals with physicality, so you really feel the weight of Saturn in your life. Okay. So, he's moving forward, and um, as of the 6th of September, Okay, and so now it's going to be time to repave the way that we already paved, okay, but to fill in the cracks, to make sure we're having more integrity, to make sure we're able to really implement new things, okay. Um, Saturn's in my fourth house currently, and as he retrograded, I realized, oh, shoot, like, there's a lot of little things I missed, a lot of things that I could have more stability in if I would have done this, this, and this, okay. So now I had time to kind of figure out how to get in the alignment, and now I'm pushing forward now, ready for Saturn Direct so that I can re-implement these things and see the results, okay? So, 
this is a lot of what Saturn retrograde did for me. Um, but you can look into your chart, your chart reading, and you see what Saturn was doing for you. Okay, but he's moving direct on the six, and then let's go time with karma moving forward. A lot of the progress we can really have in life, jobs, continuing businesses, prospering, relationships building, all these things that are going to be for the long term are going to be kicking back in starting the six. Okay. Again, Saturn is slow moving, and he's the grandpa. Okay, he's the, the guy of time. Okay, so give him some time. Don't just expect a six like um progress. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just give him some time. Okay. Um, at that same time, Mercury, okay, homeboy of the mind, is going into Virgo where he rules, okay, and will be lit and will be super excited, okay, and it will be pushing us into this strong Virgo season. Even though we've been in Virgo season for a minute, with Mercury, there's a ruler of Virgo in its home sign during its season. This is going to really impact and push our minds, get us to really understanding things with Saturn moving forward and, you know, pushing everything forward, like this is how you're going to do this, this, and this. And, and this is ready to get your life together. It's amazing that Mercury's going to be in Virgo helping us to do that. Okay. Mercury rules the mind. And with Virgo, we're going to be more detail oriented, um, more judgmental of situations, more able to, to piece things together and prioritize and be practical. Okay. So that's really great. And all that's happened on the sixth. Okay. Then we got the ninth, the new moon in Virgo. Okay. This is a new beginning, a new start. And this is going to be the time that's going to be our new beginning, a new cycle after we've had the complete. Eclipse conclusion, okay? We're still coming off the full moon in Pisces, which was the conclusion of the eclipse season, okay? And then this new moon in Virgo will be the restart, and that will be our move forward, our re, you know, able to reinfuse this new wisdom we're taking in this Virgo energy, really kind of piecing together our life and our life path and pushing it forward, okay? Starting on the night, okay? It's going to be really interesting as well because Venus is going to be moving to Scorpio, leaving Libra where she's strong and going to Scorpio her detriment. But it's going to be a major shift in energy there, okay? Um, and and then, you know, that is going to be happening on the new moon in Virgo, okay? A shift with Venus into Scorpio, okay? Now, lunar cycles last for, and this is going to be lasting the entire to the full moon, something that's culminating with this Venus moving into, um, into Scorpio. Okay, and so the culmination of that will be seen later on September 25th when we have the Aries full moon, okay? Um, but remember, at this time, Venus is already, as of the 2nd of September, in shadow phase, meaning she's going to be, she's about where she is now when she's going to be in November 16th, okay? So pay attention to kind of what financial, relationship, and pleasure-like issues or things you're thinking about are coming up because that is going to be the main focus from now until... And mainly, again, in November 16, 15. We're going to be really redoing what we're thinking now, okay? Um, and so, New Moon and Virgo, New Beginning, okay? Libra season begins and kicks off September 23rd, okay? And so, we'll be wrapping up Virgo season and moving to Libra season. And then, we'll be having the Aries full moon, which I talked about on the 25th, okay? Um, this is going to be really, really major because the sun is going to be squaring Saturn, okay? Um, and so, this is going to be a major time when Saturn is strong energy is here. With squares to Saturn, um, Saturn is seen as kind of a malefic planet because he brings just tough restrictions, limitations. He's that tough love, okay? So we're going to get a deal to tough love, okay, on the 25th, that full moon of Aries, a major conclusion point. Um, you want this new life, okay? We set these new routines on the new moon in Virgo, but now Saturn's going to be put in a check, making sure on this full moon of Aries, okay, you said this, this, and that, but we need to make sure this is happening here. Oh, I'm going to limit you right here because this is the intention you set on the 5th. Why are we still stranded into this? Okay. The Aries full moon is going to bring up our impulses and bring up our um, instinctual energy. Okay. How are we going to react and the energy of our soul? Okay. And um, we're really going to become challenged to, to add and infuse a lot of integrity. Okay. Have a lot of patience tests coming in the, the September 25th energy. Okay. And what's crazy, the Aries, um, with the Aries card, the Aries will get this. The main message, the first part out is temperance, okay, all about, and you got temperance coming in, and the chariot reverse, okay, so this month is a month still, and we're progressing and moving forward, but it's in, in moderation with, then, our integrity and our highest path, okay, we ain't going to be blazing, blazing forward, okay, making sure things are really methodical, because we just came out of the Saturn retrograde, we want to get back into the same karma we just figured out, okay, how to get up, out of, okay, um, and then September the 30th, our boy Pluto goes direct, okay? He has been retrograding for the past six or seven months, I believe. Um, no, I think about it in four months. I don't really remember that. Um, 
I talked about it in the prior. You can Google it as well to look um, when he went retrograde. But he's going to be moving away. It's okay. And the transformation of our life, major transformative events in our life, um, you know, dealing with power, gaining new control in your life, all these things will be able to kick on September 30th, okay? We've been looking a lot at control and looking a lot. I've been posting a lot about, like, oh, my God. This is I'm take this has taken my power away, or oh look at this situation, my power is taken away in this situation. Okay. All these things are because Pluto has been retrograde. We've been looking at control, looking at where our energy is going, where our energy is being sucked, where we're putting our energy, okay? Um, and what we're passionate about, okay. And then wanting and looking also and transforming inside, internally having the resurrection that Pluto brings, the death and rebirth of a lot in our life. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to have this new birth in this, okay. So then we're going to see that change physically starting September the 30th. Okay? So that's put it away. That's so strong to y'all. So you know what that means. Okay. Now it's time to get into the cards. And we're going to, I'm going to talk a little bit of astrology as well with each sign. But I hope you enjoy just this cap and this understanding of the energy of September. Okay. It's going to be really, really major. Um, and then we're going to get into situation right here and just get into the two of mesh. She's already got the cards pulled for Aries. So let's get Sweet. Taurus, 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 what to do, what to do, what to do. Hello, Taurus. I don't know why I always have to start with saying a jingle, okay? Who knows? Um, it is what it is, okay? Um, welcome to September and your energy reading, okay? This is for all my strong Taurus energy, my Taurus moon, Taurus rising, Taurus Venus, Taurus sun, okay? Um, Taurus conjunct some, okay? You got, I don't know, okay? Strong Taurus energy, okay? Um, welcome. To September's energy, okay? It's going to be major, 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 okay? Um, looking at your cards and just looking at the astrology, okay? You just finished up your fourth house transit with that Leo energy, okay? Which was also a major square to your sign, okay? Any of the Mercury, right? The Mercury retrograde was a square to, to your energy. The sun moving through Leo was a square to your energy, okay? Venus moving through, ener for, through Leo squares your energy. And so, all, you've been getting a lot of squares, okay? A lot of challenges have been happening, okay? Um, with you and your expression and dealing with, you know, finding stability, but needing and feeling this urge, oh, it's going it's to make me unstable and be uncomfortable, and it might shake things up. I might lose my stable ground, but I need to express myself more. I need to shine more. I need to be confident more. I might lose the stable relationships I have, but I need to shine more, okay? I need to break free and then do my own thing, Okay? And so now, you know, now that energy of the, the, in the, when, when Leo, that, 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 during Leo season, okay, I really feel like, you know, it's that cancer energy, okay, in that fourth house. It's that crab in there burying around in your, in your emotional um, body, in your stomach, okay? So I really feel like wounding could have come up and, 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 you know, past things, dealing with family issues could have been coming up, okay, all through August, okay? Um, a lot of things coming in with, you know, how you really feel about the situation. Okay, actually, my gut is telling me I shouldn't do this anymore. You know what I'm saying? All these energies coming in, okay, where you emotionally felt something underneath the surface, like, oh, I'm intuitively picking up. This is really how you're feeling. Right? This is really what's going on now, okay? All of this energy came in Leo season, and now you're going to have Virgo season coming in and fully emphasizing, again, this Leo energy because Virgo energy for you is your fifth house, okay, which is ruled by Leo. Okay, so now is a, a chance now to infuse with this Virgo energy to put it and ground it down to practically, you know, add it to your life, new courage, new pride, new confidence, new expression, new, you know, creative endeavors, okay? New romance, new passion, even incorporating children, working with children, feeling the light and being inspired by children, okay, into your routine, okay? These are all things that um, this, this Virgo season is going to be keeping in for you, okay? Then we've got Saturn moving direct, okay, September the 6th in your ninth house, okay? And so since December, Saturn has really been pushing you to reshift your beliefs, restructure how you see yourself, restructure your beliefs of yourself. And this could also be in the, you know, Saturn in your ninth house, going and getting new education, going and, 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 you know, going to school, realizing you need to go back to school, okay? Getting into, you know... Um, being in, in, in schooling and dealing with the new structures of, of learning new things, okay? Um, shifting your beliefs and, and trying new things could be going and studying Buddhism or studying new religions or studying, you know, getting deeper into spirituality in a new way to figure out your truth, okay? All these things that Saturn is pushing you to do, okay?
okay, so that you can shine and, and, and see yourself in a new way, okay? Um, so you get what I'm saying. And then we got Libra season kicking in, which is going to emphasize this Virgo energy for you, okay? And so, and I love this with Taurus because Taurus, you, you rule patience and you rule, you're just more slow moving, okay? Because you got to manifest. You got to make sure you're warning your plans and make sure they're going to grow and build, okay? True business and true people who build, you know, who really understand stability and are very Saturnian even, understand patience and understand taking time with things, okay? And so, with that, it's funny, like, like with Aries, okay? Aries is your 12th house Taurus, okay? But when Aries season kicks in, the sun, we're still dealing with Aries season. It's still Aries season. So you deal with Aries season, and then during Taurus season, okay, A Aries is, wait, sorry. How can I explain this better? Um, let me see a better way to explain this. Okay, right now, because okay, I think I'm not going to mess myself up for a second. Right now. Okay, Virgo season is your fifth house. Okay, so you're getting this Virgo energy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you're really trying to infuse through the routine. Okay, but Virgo rules the sixth house. Okay, then we're going to have you go to Libra season. Okay, Libra rules the seventh house, but Libra season for you is in your sixth house. So you get that Libra energy, but you're still trying to incorporate it as in this Virgo way, in this sixth house way. Okay, so Taurus actually gets two. Zodiac ceases to deal with one energy, okay, one sign, and it's incorporating in that way, okay. So, like, we had Leo season, okay, but that was in your fourth house, so you were wrapping up Cancer energy, okay, and blending it with this Leo energy, and then now we're Virgo season, but we're still wrapping up this Leo energy because Virgo for you is in your fifth house. So, you see how it's spirit gives Taurus this extra time, okay, and that's what is happening, okay, that's what this energy is giving now, it's more time right now. Um, to really reshift your beliefs, okay? And as Libra season comes in, and you're really dealing with other people, dealing with partnerships, and seeing how you're dealing with relationships, and the Venus retrograde comes in as well, okay? This is going to be a time when you're really going to be looking at your relationships and really looking at also how this is impacting your life and your routine, okay? Because it's dealing with your sixth house, okay? So, major month for you guys, major, major month. Um, starting off with this past energy, what I'm seeing, okay? August was a time when I feel like a lot of people in August were able to get a lot more clarity. Okay, a lot of the, the things, that the, the patterns, past patterns, a lot of, you know, oh, I don't know which one option I need, and I can just take either one. Having too many options on our plate, um, being deceived by others, um, being in a confusion and a fog, all this energy in August, we were able to use all the hella retrograde energy. Okay, if you looked at my retrograde city video, it talks about all the retrogrades that happened in August. This is, we're now able to see, oh my gosh, okay, I have more clarity. I now know truly what I desire. I now know what I want to move forward in, okay? My mind's pieced together now. I have Mercury moving direct, okay? Mars is moving direct. Now I can see where I want to go, okay? And so with that, you have a lot more st emotional stability, okay? Because it's, with Taurus, since you know you have to take time and things, and Taurus is going to be the one to really get us that building in, okay? It's like you want to build a building, but you still are trying to solidify where you're going to put the line, Okay? That's going to get you stressed out. You've got people coming in to, to look at the land. you got people coming in to make sure it's going to work. you got the contractor coming in. you got the lumber coming in. you got the wood, the paneling coming in, okay? None of that can happen, though, if you don't decide where you want to put it, okay? And so now you're able to see what cup you want, okay? The fog and the clarity is moved and leaving now, okay, and as we're going into September. And you're coming to a more emotionally stable place, okay? <clears throat> you also just wrapped up Leo season being your fourth house energy, which is all about, that's a water sign house, okay? All about your emotions, okay? And so you're now having more of a mastered sense of your emotions and being more emotionally stable in yourself. And that is allowing you to have more strength in your partnership. And you're able to see, hold up. Now I got my life figured a little bit. I'm feeling more stable in myself, okay? I'm more hydrated, okay? If you get what I'm saying. And feeling more nutrients and, and, and just like, I literally just look at, them, at my water. It's like before you were hydrated, you know, you were dehydrated. You were giving up to others too much. Your, your job was not passionate. You, you, it was draining you or whatever situation you were in prior to, you know, this, this major awakening or prior to even May of 2017 where, you know, the North Node moved into me. Okay. We really began this kickoff of, of all this strong energy of 2017, 2018. Okay. After we released so much in 2016. Okay. 
And so 2017, again, was a, a one year, the, the new beginning. So a lot of the new beginning. Okay. And so you're realizing, oh, my God, and especially in, in August. Okay. You realize, oh, shit. I've been in this fog and I haven't been taking care of myself. Okay. I'm dehydrated as hell. So now you're more stable in yourself. And now that you're more stable, you're ready to move forward and, 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 and look at and assess. Okay. Now, let me go back to the things that were draining me now. Okay. And, and recheck. Now that I feel better about myself and I've taken care of myself. Now it's time to rebalance out the energies of my life, okay? And when you do that, new inspiration is going to come and new joy is going to come in, okay, as we push into September. So September is going to be happening a lot of reassessing. It's going to be three steps. Reassessing situations that drained you. Rebalancing it, okay? And then second period is going to be new awareness, new revelations going to happen because you got Uranus in your sign, boo. And as the Uranian here, okay, that's revelation. That's sudden aha moments. But it comes when you Uranus the, the the Uranus rotates this way. Okay, all other planets are going this way, circular. Uranus, but it has kind of a gravity this way. Okay, which means you go to the bottom of the situation and you realize, oh my God, this is draining the hell out of me. It's been pulling me down. Let me have a sudden revelation of how to get break out of this. Okay, that's why Uranus is the ruler of rebellion. Okay, breaking free from you know limiting things. Okay. So you have the second thing. Once you realize and look at what's been in balance. And I see a lot in your partnerships, Taurus. Okay, a lot in the partnership in balance. Okay. Because you're super loyal. But you realize that you're not loyal to the people around you have been loyal to you. Okay. So you get new inspiration, aha moments. And then you're able to move and shift yourself into new joy and whatever it means. That could be finding new people around you to celebrate with. Communicating in a way that's like, oh my God, I now know what I need to say to bring joy in my life. Oh, I now need to know what moves I need to make to bring this happiness into my life, to have this celebration, okay? But this is what we're moving towards, okay? Then we go in and we're going to look at, um, this is your past energy goal. This is what we're moving into September with, okay? Now, in September, okay, um, there's a situation, y'all, okay? The tower is coming in, okay? Reverse. So to me, this is a situation that the, the main, you know, cataclysmic event has passed, but we're still really tense about what happened. We're still worried about is this going to continue to happen. We don't really even see, oh, shit, I don't even, like, that, that just shook me completely, okay? But the fog is still being removed, but we may not, with the fog still, you know, we may need some more time to really fully see objectively why things occurred the way they did, okay? But your joy is not really there. You're, you're a little bit, you know, Cautious. It's like, shit, I just got my ass beat. Okay, I'm going to take a second. I'm not, I'm not nervous about moving forward. I don't want this serious situation to occur anymore. Okay. But what Spirit is saying is that situation had to occur to remove the remove thought. Okay. And to give you this emotional rebalance, it allows you, you know, you have to realize you were dehydrated. Sometimes we don't, we don't even realize. We go through a day and we don't even realize we don't want to drink the water until we get the headache, we get the migraine, until we pass out, until we get dizzy. These are all situations, okay that show us where our happiness is not there, okay? And so it's not going to occur again if you continue, if you push forward and drink that water. It's the intense tolerance of stuff, okay? Um, and so when, when, you know, that fear of this event goes away, Queen of Wands is going to step in. And you know what's going to come with it? I think you forgot this is a little besides the Ace of Swords. This is, again, I said a little bit earlier. Once you zoom out and have this Ace of Swords energy and cut away, okay, yes, this hurt me. Yes, you know, I'm going to cry about it. Let cry about it. I have Mars and Cancer. I'm all about feeling into how you feel and dealing with that. Okay, there's nothing wrong with dealing with this earthly experience. We're not supposed to be, oh, I just must flow, and that was difficult, but it is life. Yes, it is life, but damn, that hurt. Okay, and so you can feel into that. Okay, but then you got to look at it objectively. How did that help me? How am I benefiting from that? Maybe it was a financial loss or a loss in the physical reality, but did I gain something spiritually? Emotionally, am I up in a new level? Okay, looking at it in a whole new way. Did this actually affect? Was this something I went through that actually someone else was watching and now they're inspired in a new way? Okay, looking at this in a new way is going to give you the motivation. This Queen of Wands energy. Okay, but well, once that occurs, you're going to be able to stand at your ground in new ways. Okay, this Seven of Wands energy and again. Seven is all about isolation. Okay, it's about I have the, I'm a life path seven. It's about you know spiritual seeking. It's about diving deep and have a deeper, strong. Um, just a strong understanding of spirit and, and, and your truth through observation and standing tall in yourself, okay? And so when you stand tall in yourself, you got this Queen of Wands energy, and then the two energies uh, that were kind of depleting you, okay, 
the Hermit Reverse coming in. It's the energy of this, you know, I'm, you know what, I don't even want to look for the solution. I, just, I can't even really take the time to go. And this is the kind of energy of, you know, nervous to look and see what the truth is, okay? And just completely lacking in passion. It's just like, you know, I don't even feel like doing anything. Like, I feel like, okay, so much has been going on. I don't know what's going on in my relationships. I don't know where I am. I don't know. I'm not inspired anymore. I don't know what's stuck in your drive. Okay, all these energies are going to move themselves, okay? Because you've got this new awareness. And then what's going to move in is the Knight of Wands. Passionate energy pushing you forward. Aries also got this energy, okay? Of what new energy is going to come in once they shed what they're working with, okay? So, boom. Okay. And then for the future, okay, the Queen of Swords is paired with the Four of Swords in reverse, okay? Queen of Swords is sitting still. She's like, look, oh, okay, what advice do you need? What do you need to help me with? I really see that in maybe in your past relationships, you were seen as this advice giver, and, and you were in the energy of, of passivity in relationships where, you know, um, I don't know, you weren't in the active role. Maybe you, you were just going with the flow of what others want, okay? But that ain't something too well for you. You're not able to really rest in that anymore. You're like, you know what, no, okay? I have new values now. Okay, I see myself in a new light. I want to. I want to be able to. I deserve to shine. Okay, yes, I used to be passive, kind of sit back and let others do their thing. But now, you know what? I have something I need to say to as well. Okay, I, I want new importance because you're realizing that it was sweet and it was nice to let others shine, but the desires that you want, you're not able to. You haven't been getting because of the sacrifice you've been making for others. Okay, and that's causing the fog. It's like what? What the hell's going on? Okay, and actually, more stable in yourself. It's time to really. Get and move towards okay, the new love and new compassion and what dreams you have for yourself, okay? Five year planet, ten year planet. Where do you want to go? Who do you want to see yourself as ten year from now? And what what abundance do you want to be sitting in? Okay. What they're saying is there's a situation and this is similar, it's kinda of crazy. The Aries got this energy too. There's a king of wands, okay? There's somebody this could be a, a domineering energy around you. This could be someone with strong Leo energy, okay? Very masculine energy, okay. Um, but the need to separate from them, the need to kind of just drop that energy or not follow it so strong, okay? This also could be, um, I really don't think that's what it is, because like, it came with the Five of Swords in reverse, okay? And right beside that pool cleared and I got the Six of Swords, I was like, oh my God. So there's a situation that, you know, you're battling or maybe competitive energy, or this situation where there's a little bit of so, some, some tussle going on, a little bit of conflict, okay? This could even be mental conflict of, of, am I strong enough? Am I pushing enough? Am I doing enough? Am I productive enough? Am I driven enough? Okay. Follow your heart. Okay. Trying to practice, be practical and logical about something passionate is going to lead to a lot of mental uprest. Okay. And whether it was some drama from someone else or from yourself, the situation, you're being asked to release it and it is releasing now. You're not going to come back with it. The situation is shedding. Okay. And it's time to move on and move on to calmer waters, okay? Rough waters just occurred. But now we're moving into better waters. Keep the wisdom, but don't don't keep holding that, that grudge. Don't keep holding that resentment, okay, um, of the past, okay? And stand tall on yourself. Yeah, it might have made you a little paranoid, okay? It might have made you a little worried, okay? You might have got your ego hurt, okay? You might have got a situation, you know, shook you up a little bit. But stand tall. You're almost there, okay? And lastly, my beautiful Torio. The message, okay, this is the message, but that was kind of past, present, future kind of energy. I want to see what was going on in the okay? Especially since I haven't seen y'all since July, okay? So, looking, the main message is abundance is on the way. Love is on the way, okay? And, and, and there's, there's new things turning in your favor. A lot of new abundance is coming, okay? You're going to have a major, Venus is your ruler. So, for her to go retrograde October the 6th through November the 16th, I believe, the 15th, this is your ruler. There's a lot of reevaluating, reshifting, and yet how we saw our value. We got the inputs coming in. I knew that was coming out. Oh, no, I don't think it is. Well, seeing, seeing yourself a new way, okay? Um, King of Cups, okay? Standing tall on yourself, okay? Moving away, we got this other thing before. The Nine of Pentacles, okay? And so, we're going to be reshifting our value, reshifting relationships, how we're dealing with things, okay? And that's a lot of what's going on with you, okay? Being sun dry from other people, or just, you know, not really feeling like you need to shine enough, or even, you know, how you talk about yourself to others, okay? All these things are going to be reworked, and this is beginning to turn your will in your favor, okay? Really shifting and raising your abundance as you raise your value, okay? 
And as that happens, we're shedding away the Six of Cups, okay? This is nostalgia. This is past patterns, okay? This is, you know, in the past, letting old patterns get in the way. Old people coming in. Oh, okay, I need your help. I know you're doing your thing and you're stable, but I really need, even though it's going to set you back, can you help me out? And you're like, okay, I got you. Skirt? No. Okay, let that Leo go or whoever that's energy you is. Okay. Um, and so this is now an energy of just past patterns. Okay, self sabotage. Okay. Um, that was from past lives. Okay. Um, this is energies of, of even looking back and every time you're trying to move forward, you get stuck in this down and you get stuck in the past. Well, this happened, this happened, this happened. Shut all that, okay? And that will end the pattern. The world card comes in, okay? And notice you right here, boom, sitting tall, okay? The six signs are here, okay? Able for you to feel grounded in love, grounded in, in abundance, okay? And so just release all that past energy, all that past negativity, all that past, those past feelings you were having, okay? Past people, release them, okay? Um, past patterns. Begin to shine your light. Begin to to find the love of yourself and, and continue to be more emotionally stable. Continue to drink your water, okay? And then you will notice this wheel turning in your favor, okay, as you shed away the past, okay? You, got, you are protected, oracle guidance, okay? So again, the cataclysmic, cataclysmic event will not occur again, okay? That was necessary to shake you up, to bring you strength, okay? You are protected throughout all, okay? Studying and learning. I really think this is Saturn moving forward in your ninth house as well. This is a time now. Now that you realize, you know what? It's my time to shine. Okay. Now is realizing, you know what? I want to step my game up, set my cookies up. Okay. You may need to work on something. There may need to be some new studies you want to go back into so you can really, you know, get that true benefit later on in life. Okay. Maybe you need to get a degree in something. Maybe you need to study up on something. Maybe you need to really relearn yourself. Okay. I'm studying and learning coming in. And lastly, shine your light, okay? Boom. Okay, continuing to be the message, especially with Virgo season. It's going to be a beautiful trying to you, okay? Your fellow sister sign on Earth. You got, and Mercury's going to be moving there as well to help you out. But it's in your fifth house of that Leo energy of how you're shining with your light, okay? And then for your angel advice, my beloved, you got reward yourself. Again, shine your light, accept yourself, and drink your water, okay? So that you can really feel ref refreshed. And, and, and stable in yourself so that you can continue to manifest in your highest, um, you know, possibilities of that next, but, you know, in highest potential. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay? Energy work, because again, it's something about you shining your light, what you're here to do, okay? This is saying you're, 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 your hands are being activated now to really give and share to others in service, okay? So something you're creating, again, this is the time that it's you're really being activated to push, begin to push it forward, okay? And lastly, you got fresh air. Okay, so getting out in nature, getting out in fresh air is really going to help so much. Okay, I really think it's going to really help you to shed and it help to release a lot of past things that are happening. Okay, and so that's what I have for you guys. I hope this message resonated with you guys much more. Okay, um, again, if this ring any bells for you and you want to go deeper into the situation, or deeper into a situation that's happening in your life, hit up my services. Um, if you've just been curious about them anyways, hit the website up. Okay, you can see what I offer. Um, Lots. I'm also doing 20 minutes, 20 hour sessions of the planets moving direct. Okay, so hit that up. Really great deal. Um, if you're a new Tory in viewing, okay, like and subscribe. If you're an old D, hey, what's up? Okay, let me know. Comment below. It's been a minute since uh, since July. Okay, comment below. How you doing? Okay, let me know. I like to comment and just feel like I'm interacting with you guys and that you know I, I'm of service. Okay, so let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you're doing. Okay, and that's what I have for you guys. Until later, do this, Tories.